Logan students, and welcome to another lesson using Autodesk Inventor Professional 2022, and it's based on the server. And without further ado, I'm going to show you how to make monkey bars. It's quite extensive. There will be an image to look at for specifications. So I want you to go to your monkey bars assignment in the stream, and you're going to look under the instructions, and you could open up this monkey bar specs to see all the dimensions required. Just Note that there are two inch bars in diameter and they're spaced 10 inches apart on the two left and right ladders. And then across the top, the monkey bars are two inches in diameter, but they're spaced 12 inches apart. The overall width is 96 inches and the overall height is 96 inches. And the bar extrusion is uh, six inches and it's 36 inches total in width. So I've got all that committed to memory. I'm going to select the Cameo link. That should take me directly to load the Autodesk Inventor software. So I've arrived at the Autodesk Inventor software, and now I'm going to start a new standard IPT, create. And the first thing to do is start a 2D sketch on the XY plane. Zoom out with your mouse wheel several clicks and then start with a rectangle. I'm going to go with, uh, let's start with the left side and we'll go six tab 90, 90. Enter. Six tab 90. And then I hit the escape key move my bar up and again to the left a bit and now i'm just going to make a copy of it here's a copy tool you can select the copy tool uh, use a marquee to select all that you want to copy select the base point and then you'll click a base point on your sketch and drag it to the right make sure the line at the top there that black line is completely horizontal click and then you say done. Now you can use the dimension tool to select the left side and the right side. You'll select it, click and type 96 enter. And now you can draw another rectangle. I think from the upper left corner across to the upper right corner. When you see that 96, you're just going to hit tab and then a six enter. And as you recall, we want to trim out some of these pieces in here. One, two. So I'm going to hit the escape key, right click and delete some of these dimensions that I'm not going to be needing anymore. And just to make sure I get rid of it all. Now I want to trim and see if it works. Trim, 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 trim. I believe I'm good to go. So what I'm going to do is finish sketch zoom out with back out with my mouse wheel and then use the extrude tool and you see the default extrusion is one inch right here distance a i want to change that to six and then select ok and now i'm going to start a 2d sketch right on the front face of my monkey bar and i'll start with circles maybe down at the bottom here i'll select one circle and then as I'm dragging that out, I'll hit two and then enter on the keyboard. And then I'm going to use the dimension tool. Zoom in. Make sure that the center to the left side, click, is click, three inches. And make sure the bottom. So I'm going to use the dimension tool yet again. Make sure you're in the dimension tool. Select the center from the bottom line, click, drag it out to the left, click, and enter 10. And then enter. Now you know that first bar will be positioned correctly. The next thing I'm going to do is copy that. So I select the copy tool. I'm going to put a marquee around my circle. And I'm going to select base point. And I'm going to draw five more straight up. So I'm going to go click, drag, click, drag, click, drag, click, drag, click drag and click done 
Now I'm going to redo, uh, redo the dimensions. So I've got to go back to the dimension tool, click the center and the center from the circle above it. Click, drag it out, click, 10, enter. Center, center, drag it out, click the dimension, hit 10, and then enter. Now you're going to use the pan tool a bit. Select the center, select the center of the circle above it, click, drag it to the side, click, enter 10, and then enter on the keyboard. Again, zooming in with your mouse wheel, click, click, drag, click, 10, enter, click, click, drag, click, 10, enter. So far, so good. Now I can copy the entire set of circles. What I'm going to do first, though, is select a line and place a line here, maybe up to about here. And now I want to copy my circles. That you can even verify that the dimension is centered, but you'll select the, set, the line and then the left. You can see it's three inches. Click. Just cancel that. But with the line there, you can use the copy tool. Once again, make a marquee around all of your circles. Select the base point. Maybe select this bottom circle right in the center. Click, drag it straight across. Make sure that black line remains completely horizontal. Zoom in with your mouse wheel. Once you get it right on that line, click, and then say done. And there you go. You can even right click and delete the initial line. So now I've got all the holes left and right. Now I've got to go to the monkey bars across the top. So I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to uh, put a circle here, say about here, click, drag to enter. Make sure I use the dimension tool from the top to the center, drag it out to the side, click, should be three. And then from the left to the center, click, should be 12. And now I can use the copy tool and select your, just your circle with a marquee and use the base point. And then drag them one, two, three, four, five, six. I believe that's enough. Now use the dimension tool from the center of the first to the center of the second. Drag it out. Click. Twelve. Check. Center. Center. Up. Twelve. Center to center on every circle, 12 inches. This, this, click, 12, enter, click, 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 12, check, one, two, click, 12, check, good to go. Finish sketch. Now I'm going to extrude And you're going to need to zoom in and make sure you select each and every circle that you made on the entire sketch. Just work your way. Be patient, and it's like a video game. Make sure that you're very accurate, selecting each one. And there, now you want to change your distance to 30. So you go to distance A, see 30, click OK. So at this point, 
you'll see the bar here is six inches thick and the length of this pole, the monkey pole is 30 inches. So that totals 36 inches. So now I'll show you a new trick. You want to start a 2D sketch. You want to select the end of one of the book poles. And now you want to use the tool called Project Geometry. We'll see it here. You select this drop down arrow and make sure you select Project Geometry. Click. And then you want to select the entire perimeter. Way around you can see it's highlighting in yellow and when you've got the entire perimeter highlighted in yellow you finish sketch select extrude and you're going to want to select the flipped option and then you're going to want to select boolean on the first tool to make it solid and then the distance you'll change to six and select OK. And there you have the monkey bars. So you'll select File, Save As. Remember to navigate to the proper playground folder. You may have to use the up arrow, up one level until you find your G drive, double click playground, rename the part to monkey bars and save. If you want, you can change the colors, use the default materials list. I think I'll try orange. And with that said, again, file, save, and then file, export, image. It's already called monkey bars and change the format to PNG. Save your image. That went into your playground folder and your recents folder. That's the image we're going to want to turn in for assignment credit. Good luck.